Patrol ready for action, Ryder, sir. Marshall got zapped by the shrink ray, and now he's very, very small. Whoa. We have to find him. At that size, he won't have gone very far from the tower. Spy chase. Stepping on the lawn is too risky, so I need your drone to fly over it to look for him. Rubble. I need you to lower your rake's electromagnet over the lawn to pick up Marshall's truck. Paw Patrol is on a roll! <laughs> Ryder, I think I found something! Okay, bring it in easy. You did it, Rubble! Yes! There's no Marshall in it. It's okay, we're gonna find him. Time to launch your drone. Got it, Ryder! Drone! Go find an itty bitty Marshall. This drone! I could totally ride the drone home if I could get up there. Thanks! <laughs> drone, return! <laughs> Let's try looking for him with the lookout's periscope. takes itself to the curb. Oh! oh, hi, Frankie. Did you see our invent? Rusty, get this. I just invented a remote control flying waffle maker. <laughs> see? Waffles anytime, anywhere. Best invention ever. Oops, I'm on it. What's this? It belongs to R.R. the Fourth. <gasps> that must be your great great grandpa, Rustin Rivets the Fourth. He used to make inventions right here in this yard a long, long time ago. What's it say? What's it say? A treasure is buried. Have I got your attention? Follow this map to find my great piratey invention. <clears throat> cool. It's one of my great great grandpa's treasure maps. Awesome. It looks like the treasure is buried on an island. Let's use our pirate ship. <laughs> the bits make great pirates. They're pie bits. <laughs> Frankford, are ye coming with us? <laughs> oh, uh, no, we aren't. We're busy today. Thanks. Bye. I know we're not busy today, Frankford, but I plan to find and keep that invention all for myself. Oh, and for you, too. <laughs> huh? Okay, let's see. We have lots of parts so we can build anything we need. And the deck is swabbed. <laughs> Ready to set sail for adventure, pirates? <laughs> Yar har har! Captain Rusty thinks the treasure is his, but Captain Frankie will get it first. How? I secretly took a picture of his map, and Rusty didn't see me. That's how. Oops, wrong picture. Here it is. See? Full Fritz ahead! According to the map, the treasure's on that island. 
We'll find my great-great-grandpa's invention in no time. No, you won't, because Captain Frankie will get it first. Frankie? But I thought you were busy today. I am busy. Busy trying to take the invention all for myself. <laughs> my crew won't let that happen. <laughs> oh, but the weather looks bad. Thanks to the Frankie Fritz Fogger 5000. Where'd he go? I can't see. <laughs> oh no! You can't see which way to go. Don't worry, I'll go get the treasure. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Rusty? We can't just wait for this Frankie fog to blow away. Blow! That's it! I've got an idea. Whirly, want to be a super-powered fan and blow all that fog away? Rusty was easier than I thought. Ahoy there! <sighs> that fog cleared right up, thanks to Whirlybeard. Oh! Well, Captain Frankie has more tricks than just fog. <laughs> oh no! That reflector is heating up the sand! So you can't walk on it. Now the treasure will be all mine. <laughs> if we can't walk on the sand, he'll get my grandpa's treasure. <laughs> we need to get across that super hot sand and stop Frankie from taking the treasure. Oh, I have an idea. We can't walk across the sand, but maybe our ship can, crab style. Let's add legs to our ship. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Ruby! Let's go! Time to set sail on sand! <laughs> Woohoo! To treasure! It's a giant crab walking pirate ship! Awesome! Except Rusty Rivets is in it. <laughs> Don't worry, Long John Stinky. I have one more plan. <laughs> okay, ladies. According to the map, the treasure's on top of this cliff. <gasps> You're right! An X! It must be buried under there. I know a faster way to dig. Crab claws! Nice touch! <laughs> Thanks for finding the treasure for me, Captain Rusty. <laughs> We can't let him get away! We've got to catch him! But how? Our ship can't fly! Not yet! <gasps> we can use the parts we brought to make a flying pirate ship! Let's combine it... ...and design it! We'll start with our pirate ship. Then add wings to make it fly. And turbo jets to make it go super fast. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Modify. Customize. Rustify. Oh, 
the Flying Pirate Ship 3000! Let's go get that treasure, matey! Ha ha ha! The treasure is ours, Frankford! All ours! Captain Rusty can't stop us now! Ahoy, Captain Frankie! What? Shiver me timbers! A flying pirate ship? That's awesome! Except Rusty Rivets is in it. You'll never catch us! Yo-ho, hold on, everyone! belongs with me, the greatest inventor the... Uh-oh. Hang on, everyone. Full speed down. We can't reach them in time. Oh, yes, we can. I added a little something extra to our ship. But who's got the treasure? Captain Ruby and the Pie Bits to the rescue! <laughs> okay, even I've got to admit, that was pretty cool. Now we can finally see what my great-great-grandpa invented! Whoa! Is that a parrot? What? Hello, I'm Pollybot. It's a parrot robot. What? Cool. What? Hello, Captain Rusty. He knows my name. That is a great piratey treasure. Welcome to the crew, Pollybot. <laughs> Hello, awesome robotic parrot. <laughs> I think it likes you, Frankie. Of course he does. I am the greatest inventor in the world, after all. Ah, uh, Rusty's the greatest. Uh, what? No, I think you mean Frankie's the greatest. No, nope. Rusty. <laughs> the treasure of Kate. <laughs> Please report to the busy board for today's mega mission! Today's mega mission goes to... Build it, Brock! Really? Me? You'll follow the clues on the Majestic Mountain map to the Treasure King 2 and deliver it to Museum Station. And don't forget me, Nico!
Now the truck's freezer isn't working, and everyone's waiting for cool food to beat the heat. Chase, we'll need your winch to pull the truck out of the ditch. Rocky, we'll need your tools to fix the truck and get the freezer running again. Paw Patrol is on a roll! Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> Rawr, retract! How fast can you get that truck running? It'll take me a while, but I can fix the engine here. The parts I need for the freezer, though, are back in town. But my shipment will melt in this heat. Unless we can get you a lot of ice. <gasps> I know! Ooh, I could make a lot of snow cones with all that ice. You two, follow that copter. Oh, come to me, you cool, beautiful, way too big ice cube! Ah! Oh, no! Stop! Oh. Ah! Ryder, Mayor Humpinger's kitties cut the ice block. Now it's sliding down the road. I'll call Chase and Rubble to help. TV listings for full episodes. Rusty's relaxing recliner. Okay, Rusty, we're here. What's the big news? I can't show you yet. I'm still waiting for my mom. I made her the best surprise ever. Whirly, I hope this is important. I'm in the middle of rewiring the living room and baking muffins. Trust me, Mom, it's super important. It's about you. Me? Oh, that's so sweet. Let me take a look, but I'm also trying to get the circuit breakers up and running by dinner time. That's why you're here. You work so hard and never take time for yourself. So I made you something to help you relax. Behold, my greatest invention yet. The Rivet's Relaxing Recliner. That is a fine looking chair, Rusty. Oh, it's much more than a chair. Have a seat. Okay, let's test this puppy out. The Rivet's Relaxing Recliner has robotic massage arms, a comfort foam sleep mask that blocks out all light, and super noise-blocking headphones. It's the ultimate in relaxation. Wow, Rusty, this chair is the ultimate in relaxation. I'm glad you like it, Mom. Oh, I love it. This chair rocks. I guess I can take a minute to relax, but then... And now for the best part, the microphone. Yeah! Um, why did the chair run away? <laughs> it has a microphone on it. If it hears a loud noise, the chair moves away so the noise won't wake my mom up. Nicely rustified. Thank you. Um, the chair ran away from a bee. I think maybe the microphone is a bit too sensitive. You're right. I'll just turn the chair off and adjust the microphone. Uh-oh! Now the chair's running away from itself! If we wake my mom up, she can jump off the chair. But wouldn't it be hard to wake her up with those headphones on? Yep, so we'll have to be extra loud. Okay, everyone, on the count of three, shout, wake up as loud as you can. One, two, three. Wake up! <sighs> nope, didn't work. Oh, I've got it. We need something even noisier to wake her up. A noisemaker and a megaphone. One mega noise maker coming up. Ah! Thanks, Ruby. Okay, Bodasaur, you're up. Blow this as loudly as you can. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Is there a party? It's working! <sighs> I forgot about the mega earmuffs. They cancel out any noise the headphones don't with super muffle technology. Nice touch. Thanks. We have to think of something else before the chair runs away with my mom. So we can't wake her up? Not by making noise. Stop! Stop! Kids, like my new siren? Too late. Follow that chair, Bonasaur. In super quiet, super fast tiptoe mode. <laughs> Nobody make a sound. She's heading towards the animal park. She's over there by the monkeys. Did the chair just go up? Yup. I also programmed the chair to go up to get away from loud noises. <laughs> Somehow. Ah! Oh, it's so high up, it's walking over houses. We need to fly up there in a plane to turn it off now. But planes are noisy. So how do we fly into the sky super quietly? I've got it. You'll fly the plane way above the chair and drop me onto it. Drop you? Don't worry. I'll be in a special flying suit. To the recycling yard, Bodasaur! <laughs> All right, Rusty. We're approaching the target. Calculating your jump trajectory. You're in perfect position. Time for me to fly. Rusty. Thanks. What we need is something that can fly me right beside the chair so I can't fall off. Yeah, something that doesn't make any noise. What flies but doesn't make noise? Let's find out. Nope. Definitely not. A balloon! Let's combine it and design it. First, we'll start with a giant helium balloon. Then add a passenger basket for us to ride in. And finally, a pedal-powered fan to steer the balloon and make it go fast, quietly. Put it all together, and we've got our plan.
1,000. Let's go save your mom, Rusty. <laughs> All right, Jack, full speed ahead. Okay. Chair go higher. I can't hear you. You're too far away. Try shouting louder. We need to go faster. Full fan powered speed ahead, Jack. Oh, is that a pedal powered fan, Rusty? Very nice. Thanks, Mom. But shouting makes the chair go higher. So shh. Sorry about all that. Sorry? Why, honey? That was awesome. I mean, yes, there was a little screaming, but what a view. It was so beautiful up there. You're the best, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Aww. Rusty, that was the best sleep I've had in a long time. Maybe just a few more minutes. Well, why don't I make a few little tweaks to the chair before you use it again? Probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Nate. A choo-choo! Calling all trains! Please report to the busy board for today's mega mission! Today's mega mission goes to... Great, Nate! chug a -zoom! You'll pick up salt and pepper from Port Station and bring it to Farm Station so Clay and May can finish their chili and start the picnic. Now you're ready to make tracks! Nate and Max? Thanks, Skipper. See you at the picnic. Slowing down. I've got this, 
Ghost Rider? Stop! In the name of the paw! <laughs> hey! It worked! All right, Rubble. Move some more hay bales to close the animals in. Alex, I'll get you off Bettina. Shoo, shoo! Get away from there! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! <laughs> I never knew cows could be so fast! Whoa! How do you stop this cow? <laughs> Scott, use your harness to grab Alex! Yeah! <laughs> <gasps> it's okay! She loves to swim! Chase told me what happened. Thanks for rounding up my animals. It's okay. Whenever you have a problem, just yelp for help. Rusty, stinky situation. Hello, Spartan Hills, and welcome to the Wake Up and Smell the Roses contest. Soon I, official judge Officer Carl, will pick the best smelling rose as the winner, because my nose knows. <laughs> <laughs> Contest is starting, Rusty. I'm so excited and so warm. Ooh, it's hot out here. Don't sweat it, Mom, because I brought my Windy Wonder 3000. You have always made such amazing inventions, ever since you were a baby. Like that rocket powered stroller? <laughs> the Super Stroller 100. I'm so happy we entered the contest together. We grew a great smelling rose. We sure did. <sighs> nice flower. Good luck, Frankie. May the best smelling flower win. Yeah, good luck, Rusty. But I will need luck when I have my mechanical rose. <sighs> ah, you know what that smells like? Winning! <laughs> hey, Rusty. Hey, Mrs. Rivets. I wanted to come see your flower. <gasps> it's beautiful. Hello, Rivets family. Prepare for sniffing. Hmm. Ah, it smells beautiful. Bold, exquisite, like fancy soap. Very nice. Awesome. Officer Carl, prepare your nostrils for a scent so special, so beautiful, so... Robotic? The rules clearly state that you have to grow your own rose. So sorry, Frankie, but you are disqualified. Disqualified? Unbelievable! If I can't win, then no one can. Hmm. What's the best way to ruin that delightful smelling contest? Hey! My skunk hat! Skunk. That's it! I'm going to build the stinkiest robot ever! Yes! It's alive! You've been Frenzified! I shall call you Frankfurt! Who's the little stinker? You are! Yes, you are, Frankfurt! Yes, you are! E.U. That smells bad! Which is oh so good! <laughs> yes. I wonder if the other roses smell better than ours. <gasps> it sounds like they smell terrible. Everyone, remain calm. <laughs> Sky! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Here comes the stink. is on hold. I can't smell anything but skunk. We have to get that skunk back to its home in the forest before it ruins the contest. I'll stay here and try and stop that stink. You messed with the wrong mom, stink. How can we catch a skunk? Oh, I've got it. Let's get some bits on the fix. Whirly, we need the net launchers. Thanks, Whirly. <laughs> now let's find that skunk. He's heading that way. Hey there, little guy. We're here to help you. You'll never catch my little Frankfurt. Now! 
Engage Ninja Skunk Mode. Oh, I've never seen a skunk do that before. That's because it's no ordinary skunk. It's robotic, which means Frankie must be behind this. He's trying to ruin the contest. There's no way we'll catch that robo skunk with nets. We need to come up with a new plan. Back, stinky smell! Back! Uh oh, we better check on my mom. I'll save you, little Rose! Mom, you got rid of all the stink! Thanks to your windy wonder, I won't let anything ruin our special day, Rusty. Ugh! You're not getting defeated by Rusty's mom! Oh! I'll help you climb up high so you can stink things up without being caught. <laughs> Did you two catch the skunk? We don't know where it went. I do! It's right over there! Incoming triple stink! I'll protect everyone's roses. I don't think your windy wonder is enough. I wish I had some perfume to keep the stink away. Perfume. That's it! I know how to get rid of the stink by making a giant perfume machine! Great idea! But we've got to hurry. If those big stink clouds reach the roses, it'll ruin them for sure. Now this is a perfume bottle. I'm not going to let one little robotic skunk ruin this day for my mom. beat my adorable little stinker. Frankie, we knew it. Maximum stink power! <laughs> Maximum perfume power! <laughs> We're doing it! to make the fan super windy. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Time to go mobile. What an unusually beautiful day. Look uh, out! Don't worry, Mr. Higgins. <laughs> Got it. Uh-oh, but now it's headed for the flowers again. I know what to do. I'll blow the cloud straight up. 
Frosty, Ruby, thank you for saving the Wake Up and Smell the Roses contest. You're welcome. No problem. I knew you could do it. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Rivets. Thanks, Mom. But you hope, too. That's why I, Official Judge Officer Carl, declare you, Mrs. Rivets, the first ever Rose Queen of Spartan Hills. <laughs> and I also declare your and Rusty's flower the best-smelling rose in Spartan Hills! <laughs> hey, what happened to Frankie and his robotic skunk? Winner Schminner! This contest stinks, right, Frankfurt? <laughs> Yuck! I didn't mean make us stink! Ah, you did it again! <laughs> this day totally rocked! It sure did, Mom. You and I make a pretty awesome team. <laughs> Please report to the busy board for today's mega mission! Today's mega mission goes to... Mechanic Milo! Chugga chugga, yeah! You'll pick up parts from Building Yard Station and deliver them to Farm Station, where you will repair the broken gate. But wait, there's more! After Farm Station, you'll head to Court School Curve to repair Goaty's room! And I'll come along with you to make sure you don't overheat with all those supplies and fix it. Now you're ready to... Make tracks! <laughs> Is that a rocket booster? It's all yours. Happy rocketing! I'll need Scott. We'll need your seaplane and goggles to find it again. Marshall, I need you to use your cannons to launch fishy treats to lure the creature way out to sea. All right, Sea Patrol is on a roll. Not seeing anything yet. <gasps> Wait, Ryder, there it is. Launch these fish treats through your water can. Blast them as far out as you can. Oh, oh! Water cannons! <laughs> the shark doesn't want the treats. That's strange. It's heading back to shore! Kitties, what are you thinking? Leave them away from the beach and me! Ah! <laughs> Turtles crawling out of the sand at nightfall. I love turtles, <laughs> especially hatching baby ones. And it's so awesome that they're hatching on your birthday, Ruby. Best birthday present ever. 
Be back soon, but not too soon. <laughs> Shh. Have fun, Ruby! Okay, Bits, Operation Ruby Surprise Party is a go. You know it. All of Ruby's friends from Sparkton Hills will be here. And Sammy's making Ruby's most favorite ice cream cake. <laughs> Perfect party. Wait, what are we missing? Ta-da! Of course, an epic dance floor. Now everything's set to make Ruby's surprise party perfect. Let's go see how Sammy's coming along with that cake. Hi, Mr. Higgins. Oh, hello there, kids. Are you all ready for Ruby's surprise party? Wouldn't miss it. I'll be there as soon as I finish testing my new super powerful drawbridge motor. My, I guess my motor is a little too powerful. I knocked the power out to the whole bridge. Um, not just the bridge. That could be a problem. Looks like the power is out all over Sparkton Hills, Mr. Higgins. And at the beach. Oh, no. What about Ruby's party? I'm sure I can get the power back on in time. You two just worry about getting everything ready for the party. Okay, Mr. Higgins, we're off to get the cake. Call me if you need any help. Will do. <laughs> All right. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. The power's out. Without power, Ruby's ice cream cake is going to melt. No! Don't worry, Liam. No ice cream cake is going to melt on my watch. I know. We can use Whirly's super freezer attachment to keep the cake cold until the power's back on. Ooh, I love it! Let's get a freeze on, Whirly. Blow that cold air down. Okay, time for the cake. Ruby's gonna be so surprised. Shh, it's Ruby. Hi, Rusty. Oh, hi, Ruby. <laughs> Wait till you see how super cute these baby turtles are. <laughs> they really are adorable. I'm glad you got to see them. What a great birthday you're having. <laughs> Wait, are you shivering? Uh, yeah, it got really cold here. <laughs> <laughs> huh, strange. Anyway, we're heading back soon. No! I mean... <laughs> Don't worry. We have lots more pictures to take. Great. Well, see you soon. Ish. Phew, oh. that was close. We'd better get back to the beach. People will be arriving any minute. I'll just tag along. I'm so glad we saved Ruby's cake. The party would be ruined. Uh-huh. But you know what else could ruin a party? No party goers. Sorry, Rusty, Liam. <laughs> Turns out I had to order a new part to fix the power. Won't be here till morning. But Ruby's party is tonight. How is everyone going to get to the beach if the drawbridge doesn't work? There's no other way around. I'm afraid you'll have to cancel. No, there's got to be a way. I know. People may not be able to cross the bridge, but with a little extra oomph, the mobile rivet lab could jump it. Yeah, we could pick everyone up from the town and bring them over. Then the awesome surprise party that got ruined until we fixed it, then got ruined again, would be fixed again. <laughs> Let's get this party bus on the road. <laughs> Go, 
I'll let everyone know you're coming. Okay. Launcher to get us all across. That sounds like the plan. <laughs> yes. All right, everyone, buckle up. We need to get back to the beach before Ruby does. Here we go. Ruby should be here any minute. Who knew a surprise party would be this hard to pull off? But now that everyone's here and the cake is saved, what else could go wrong? It's Ruby! <gasps> Hi, Rusty. The lighthouse isn't on, so it's too dark to get back tonight. <gasps> oh, no. We're gonna turn around and come back in the morning. No! I mean, I'll call you back. Bye! That's so weird. I was just wondering what else could go wrong. How can we have a surprise party if the person we're surprising isn't coming? Huh? We've got to get her back. I ruined the party. If I hadn't blown out the power, Ruby and Ranger Anna would be able to see the lighthouse. We're not giving up that easily, Mr. Higgins. Right, Liam? Right, Rusty. They can take our power, but they'll never take our party! Yeah! I know! We can make our own super rustified lighthouse. Hold tight, Ruby. We're coming to get you. Glad to hear it. Because we just got stuck on a sandbar trying to go back. We'll be here waiting. Great! Let's combine it and design it! <laughs> First, we'll supersize Ray and put a bigger lens on him so he'll shine extra bright. Then we can use cloth to boost supersized Ray up high so we can see. Last but not least, we'll attach them to the rivet shark so we can go mobile. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Let's bring Ruby home. Time to bolt! Ranger Anna's boat has to be out here somewhere. <gasps> Ray! Back to the left! I think I see it! There they are! Hooray! Hey, Rusty! Ruby! Ranger Anna! We're going to tow you back now! Oh, thanks, Rusty! Okay, Liam. Deploy the grappling hook. <laughs> Engage forward thrusters. Just a little more. We're going home! Now we just have to tow them back to the party. They're coming! Everyone get ready! Ray, make sure to keep your light away from the mobile rivet lab so Ruby doesn't see the party guests. Oh, oh. Thanks for coming to get us. And for the ride back. Well, it's not over yet. <laughs> Tea. Huh? What's not over yet? Okay, everyone, now! Surprise! <gasps> what? Really? Happy birthday, Ruby! Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. 
birthday, Ruby. You did all of this for me? I can't believe it. We wanted you to have the best birthday ever because you're the best friend ever. Ta-da! My favorite ice cream cake. You guys thought of everything. Thank you all so much. So let's get this party started. Fire up the dance floor. Irma. <laughs> on my best birthday ever. Mystery of the Missing Wood. Calling all trains. Please report to the busy board for today's mega mission. Today's mega mission goes to... Mechanic Milo. Chugga chugga, woohoo! The track on Corkscrew Curve is broken because someone took the wood. We need you to go to Building Yard Station to pick up new wood, bring it to Corkscrew Curve, and fix the track. And I'll go with you. I love solving mysteries. Now you're ready to make new tracks! tracks. Choose wood. <gasps> the bee! 